The man from the bank that says the time for apologies is over. But what Bob Diamond couldn't tell the MPs who grilled him last month is how much Barclays gave back in corporation tax in 2009. Five weeks later, he's revealed it was just £113 million. I think people are going to be very angry about this, and I think we don't want to destroy the City of London by any stretch of the imagination, but we do want them to make a fair contribution to the mess they created, and that is in the context of public sector job losses being sustained up and down the country. In 2009, Barclays had pre-tax profits of £11.6 billion, boosted by selling off a major part of the bank. Of the £2 billion it paid in UK taxes, the vast majority was payroll taxes, the PAYE and national insurance of its employees. The rest was corporation tax, a figure Barclays says was so low because of losses on bad loans. Last year, Barclays had pre-tax profits of £6.1 billion and paid £2.8 billion in taxes, but it's not revealing how much of that was corporation tax. Barclays says that the corporate tax affairs of an organisation with its global footprint are complex and not reducible to simplistic comparisons. It says any link between Barclays Group profits and the amount of tax paid to the UK government is inappropriate. Although Barclays didn't get a bailout, it would have been in trouble if the banks that did had been allowed to fail. But its boss, Bob Diamond, refused to thank British taxpayers for saving the banking sector. Although he did say he was grateful for their support, including the implicit state guarantee from which Barclays still benefits. Big business, rich individuals operating in this society should be paying the correct level of tax in order to support the public sector to which they rely on and the citizens of this society rely on. One economic think tank estimates this year's cost of supporting the banking sector at £32.5 billion. From all the banks, the Treasury will get £4 billion in corporation tax in return. Their critics say the banks simply aren't giving as good as they get. Ty Enright, Sky News.